And back now at Sunday House Call, scientists from Great Britain's Cancer Research Center say that they've identified for the very first time that there are actually five different types of prostate cancer. Dr. Siegel, this is pretty stunning. I mean, you think prostate cancer is prostate cancer. This is very important. And I want to start by saying, what is cancer? Because I think people out there know what it is. But do you know that cancer is genetically based? The, the DNA in the cell or the genes of the cell are what's called the blueprint. It tells your body what to do. They're called the blueprints. When the blueprints go off, you can get cancer, and then your cells start to grow, 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 and take over the body like the tumors you know about. But now we're being able to study the genetics when, when things go wrong, Eric, and figure out which are the worst ones, which have the most mistakes, which of the genes in your cell has the most mistakes causing the worst cancers. And when I send a patient to Dr. Samadhi or, or someone does, they want to know not just do I need to have this prostate cancer out, but what are the, what's the worst one? Which is the one I need out the most? Which is the one I need out the least? Which one can I not have out? Up until now, it's been very, very hard to predict that. Now he may be able to say to his patients in the near future, you know what? This one you can wait on. This one I better get out right away. Can you, can you really wait on a prostate cancer? Well, there are some prostate cancers that are slow growing, but I think that a lot of times we're using this close surveillance um, and we have to be careful with this. Now with the new genetic testings, we'll be able to distinguish which one really has an aggressive prostate cancer and which one is not. And the message to a lot of people out there who may have prostate cancer is to see the expert in this particular field, because not every urologist may deal with prostate cancer, etc. 230,000 new cases of prostate cancer 30,000 still die from this. Our job is to prevent and distinguish who should be treated and who is not. And in our center in Manhattan, we have a lot of these tests. The genetic testing you do at the, your prostate cancer center, right? That's right, Arthel. So we probably have, we have 4K tests. We have a lot of Oncotype DX, which is based on genetic testings. We have prolaterals. Who should really get more biopsies or not? Who has aggressive or not? This precision medicine is a beautiful part of what we do every day to tell somebody, I'm going to follow you with MRIs, et cetera, and I'm going to, or you need an operation fairly soon. It can save lives, which is a game changer. Well, Mark, what should you just tell your doctor? If you've got prostate cancer right now, do you say, I want this new DNA test? Well, I think you, you would consider it, but I would add to David's point, and I love his point about precision medicine, because that is the future. What's good for one person, not good for another person. We need more studies on the genetic testing to tell us exactly which, which genes what are going. Should, what should this is a great study, but it's only in 250 men. Oh, okay. I want to see it in, in 1,000 men. I mean, can you ask, so you can can't you go, go to now? your doctor yet, yeah. right now to ask for this genetic testing? You testing? can, but you can go to your doctor and ask for this. But as time goes on, we're going to have more and more information that will help us decide. What, and what is we're it in called? the early what, stages of this. What should people ask for? Look, Eric, I think there's no specific test today, but what we, for, you can ask for 4K tests. You can what, take prostate what? health 4K. index. 4K. 4K. We will post this. These are the, the collection of a lot of different tests. But the, the old-fashioned way of treating this was elevated PSA meant you know, biopsy, and biopsy meant surgery and radiation, and they may have had complications, even though in the hands of experienced people, you would do well. Today, we have a lot of other tools that we would look at, and we add all of these tests. We, there's a urine test called PCA3 test that looks at special cells of cancer in urine, and then even if your biopsy is negative, we can get something called confirm ND MDX to find out if you have it. And David, that. isn't it true also that MRI helps target the part of the cancer that might have the most of these abnormalities? That's another good point. Not only That's a very good point that Mark is bringing up. Now, not only we're using genetic tests, we're using images and imaging t studies to find out if there's an area that lights up on MRI. And in our center in Manhattan, we have something called MRI fusion, where you take ultrasound pictures and MRIs and you put them together and find out where you should put, like a, almost like a GPS, mm -hmm. will tell you this is the area you should concentrate. And I think a lot of people, certainly for... Well, you know what, what it's fascinating me, just listening to you doctors talk about this, it makes me, if I were to take a male patient, it seems like, you know what guys, it's okay, don't be afraid to get testing because it death, it's not necessarily a death sentence. So get tested, get it in early based on what you're saying. It may and be a I, death sentence if you don't get exactly. tested. Exactly. Exactly. And I know that Dr. Samadhi, you help people as well, Dr. Siegel, but of course, this is Dr. Samadhi's you know, expertise. And you have a ProstateCancer911.com, ProstateCancer911.com, that people all over the country, all over the world can, can uh, tap into. Yes, Arthel, I, I'm glad you put it up. For a lot of people who have, are just newly diagnosed with prostate cancer, 
don't panic. This particular site is the way that we give not only to Fox News viewers, but to a lot of people who don't know what to do. I'm diagnosed with prostate cancer. I need help. We're putting our time and effort as a way to give back, and it's a pleasure to do this. They can come to prostatecancer911.com, and we've been able to save many lives. And Mark has also been extremely instrumental in his practice for screening, detection, and it's a great collaboration and has worked out tremendously well. To know when the patient needs to see him. All right. Very good. And 4K, the 4K test. Just ask for the genetic you testing. You like that. First, <laughs> first, first <laughs> you have to get your PSA yeah, first. That's right. You're yes, still you know, waiting. You're right. That's true. We're still waiting on your PSA. That's right. the thing. I mean, at the, at anyone, do you know your PSA number? I mean, you know, that's really important. We'll talk about that next week. Maybe. Do you know yours? <laughs> no, I don't know. Yes, you, you do. Get, you get the blood <laughs> test. You've got to bring it next week. You've got to watch it. I know that. Okay.